Good day to you wherever you are in the world. I'm Tony Cleaver. I'm your instructor for Church History 411C, History of World Religions. This is an overview of Part 3. Part 3 and Part 4 will talk about the new religious movements. Now, we're going to begin the new religious movements, Christian derivatives. And remember, we're going to look at their history, beliefs, practices, and their current issues. New religious movements, Christian derivatives. We're going to look at Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or Mormons. We're going to look at Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, we'll look at Church of Christ scientists. And then we're going to go to NRM's World Religions. Now, some of these terms that the Christian NRM's use are terms that you are accustomed to, but they do not mean the same thing that you and I mean as a Christian. So they may use a term that you're familiar with, but it does not mean what you think it means. It means something else to the NRM. Now, the NRM World Religions... There's the Nation of Islam, Transcendental Medi Meditation, Soka Gaka, uh, New Religious Movements, Nature Religion, Paganism and Neo-Paganism, Gnosticism, Environmentalism, uh, New Religious Movements that are religious, the Cults, Satanism, Atheism. Uh, these are those that we're going to look at in Part 3. So be aware. There's a lot of terms in here, but be aware of what the terms mean to the NRMs and what these terms mean to you as a Christian. Ensure, ensure, ensure that your belief in Christ is strong, that his hand has reached down and touched you, and that you daily keep in touch with him through your Bible study through your Bible reading, through your prayer time, through all of these things, and uh, your journal. Keep in touch with God through your journal. And again, I'm the only one that sees that journal. And I wish you success in this course, and I wish you success in your work for Christ and his church. Christ's peace to you.